Hannah Zebra here and welcome back to Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout. Today, we're checking out a new costume. This one is the amazing Fall Dazzler costume. Basically, this is a free costume with Prime Gaming, so if you already are subscribed to Amazon Prime, you should be able to get this one for free. So if we head over here, you can already see it. Oh, wait, wait, there it was. I missed it. <laughs> Hold on. Right there. This month's Amazon Prime account link rewards are almost over. Go to the profile section within the settings to link your account. And as you can see, we get the amazing Fall Dazzler. So looks pretty cool. I think I might want to change up the actual part of the outfit, like the color. That might be good. Well, we'll see what different options. Could we go, could do something like that? I don't think this came with one. So we'll just sort of have to look at our options and decide, but I think that's fine. For the pattern, we could just do like a flat pattern like that. I think that looks okay. Um, but maybe we'll change the color around. Hmm, there's a lot of options. I think orange looks fine. It sort of complements everything well. So you know what? Yeah, we'll go with that and we'll play online and hopefully we'll win a couple of crowns as the amazing Fall Dazzler. Okay, first round of the day, we have DoorDash. All right, so I don't think we've played this one in a little while. This one was, it used to be a really fun one, a really hectic one, so I don't mind it for sure. Yeah, we haven't played this one in a good while. So I definitely want to give it a try. We're way in the back though, which is definitely not helpful for this one. But actually, maybe maybe it could be. If I let them go ahead first, I could find out yeah, which doors are good, which ones are bad. Maybe being midway through. Whoa, this is new, I think. Having the, the moving on the bottom. That's interesting. Okay, go, go, go. Oh, gotta dive through. The crowd is a little rough. Okay, can't get through that one. Uh, gotta hope. There you go, worked out pretty well. Just gotta follow that hot dog, right? Okay, it has to be this one. Yeah, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Maybe this one. It's gonna be, whoa, so lucky. Okay, come on, 33.3 percent chance. Oh, it was this one. Ah, oh, no, the crowd's coming in. Gotta go fast. Oh, the fan is new too. If we get hit by the hammer, that might be a speed boost, but you know what, it didn't work out. That's fine. We still got like 10th place. Still not too bad. I'll gladly take it. I don't think we got top 20%, but Still, pretty exciting start to everything. 42 remain, so yeah, pretty good. But yeah, we were in front for a moment there, and then I hit the wrong one. It's hard to know, really, you're just guessing, so. But hey, it worked out one way or the other. Next up, what do we got? I'm excited to play again, because it's been a couple of days since I've last jumped at the game, and they've already added so many new costumes since I've last played a lot of characters from different games and such, so I'm really looking forward to seeing those and, and see how things end up going. But for right now, what's our next round? How to play is rollout. So, move between the rotating rings to avoid falling into the slime. We know this one pretty well. Did nothing too crazy so far in today's episode, but we do get a gold medal just for qualifying, so that's always nice especially since we have those long-term uh, seasonal sort of achievements to get now. It's sort of just good to get whenever gold medals, whatever accolades we can end up accruing. It's cool to see that, you know, the, the longer the free-to-play section of this game, I guess just free-to-play in general for this game has been out. And the fruit flying, that's new. So it seems like they have reinvigorated a lot of the older, but more basic ones, <laughs> things. So that's cool, the last level had the conveyor belts. This one has fruit launchers, which make things a whole lot more difficult and hectic. But yeah, as free-to-play goes on longer, we're seeing more and more people that are more heavily customized, which is nice. Oh boy. Someone just made a super jump over there. They still made it though. So six out of the 16 people have been eliminated. We just gotta make sure we're not one of the next 10. Oh, that hurt. Okay, you know what? I'll just going to do what they did. Jump onto this one. Man, this is crazy so far. <laughs> the extra fruit. I just don't want to get nailed by a strawberry and go flying. Come on, we're halfway through the eliminations. Yeah, let's go over this way. I'll go into this one for a little bit. But... Oh no, oh no, this is gonna be rough. Oh, that was close. I almost watched straight off the edge. Because I think we have made it to the final round every single time since coming back to this game. And that is, you know, something, a trend I would like to continue. Oh man, oh man, oh man, ready? Go to this one. Don't get hit. Ah! <laughs> it's so scary. No, 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 no. Uh. Come on, just five more people off the edge. Don't grab me, don't grab me. I gotta go over here. Oh, no, 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 I think this might be it. 
Uh, wait, wait, come on, a miracle, no! <laughs> yeah, I spoke too soon earlier about not being eliminated. That one guy grabbed me and just would not let go. Ah, darn. Okay, so we'll exit from there and we'll try again. Hopefully we get a little bit farther this time. Okay, so we're back to another round. Hopefully things go a little bit better this time. You know, that just happens. That's the nature of Fall Guys, right? One wrong move and you're back to the beginning again. But, you know, that's sort of the same for everybody. So it's still fair, you know? So far, I am liking this costume. They're very vibrant. I like the colors for sure. Okay, so I think I will... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I didn't even see that there. Gotta avoid that at all costs. I don't wanna get launched. There we go. We're fine, we're fine. I love the silly little additions they've made to some of the more basic stages though. It really adds some variety and some, oh no. Some extra risk, I suppose. Going the left side is always a bit faster if you can make the jumps. If not, then you're sort of out of luck. Okay, it's fine. As long as we're in the top 40, we'll qualify for the next round. You know, getting the medals and stuff is always good, but the most important thing on my mind is the crown. And we get to the crown. Somebody's got first place. Could we get, ah, the blueberry. Okay, we got like an eighth or ninth. That's not too bad. Still might land us in the top 20%. That'd be great. Get us that silver medal. Everybody else is rushing in. Crazy how fast that one finishes at. But let's see. We're going from 56 to 40. Or 41, even though, didn't it just say 40? Okay, no, never mind. <laughs> I thought it stopped the 41 for a second. But there we go, we got it, 40 qualified. And our next one's gonna be, I have to wait, but I think a lot of new ones are still that I'm so curious about that I really wanna experience, but I might just have to wait, get lucky one of these days, see a couple more of these new ones. I did, there definitely has to be some kind of design in place where some of them are more frequent than others. The Slime Scraper. How to play. Outrun the rising slime and survive through obstacles to reach the finish line. So we, we've had these before, where we need to outrun the slime, but not quite in this environment. It looks like a big pinball machine or something. That's crazy. Yeah, let's go for this one. The slime scraper. That is so cool. Oh man, and it just keeps going and going. Super futuristic and everything. Let's go for it. Oh no, the the, min the moving uh, pinball paddles too. Oh, so these guys know that, ow, oh, the shortcuts too. The crowd, oh no. That's sort of the thing, you get lost in the crowd, things are gonna go badly. So being able to maneuver through all of that is super duper important. I'm guessing there are some people that can climb up this or something, it looks like. Okay, maybe I shouldn't worry about the shortcuts too much for the time being, and we should just focus on going through like this. Because if it's anything like the other mountains I've climbed, the shortcuts, whoa, 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 a super jump because we're underwater, gotcha. If this is anything like the other mountain climbs we've done, there are shortcuts that really change everything up and really can put you in the lead. There are some people getting eliminated. Yeah, that's sort of the thing about this one. If you get eliminated, you're gone for good. What is that? Okay, I don't really know where we're going with this. I guess up there. Do we need to land on that? I don't really see what's going on here. Uh, go! I don't understand. Um, maybe, oh, oh, okay. I gotta go fast, that slime is rising. It's got, no, no, really? Oh, that's so silly. Okay, that one I sort of have a gripe with because you just couldn't really see where you were going. But this is my chance to look around this area and try to figure out, I think I was supposed to jump onto that conveyor belt more, not on the sliding slime. It just keeps going and going though, oh my goodness. Wow, that one's a little frustrating because you simply just can't see. It's definitely a trial and error kind of thing. This one is so much more difficult than the other one. Wow. So, so far, not so much luck with the uh, the amazing Fall Dazzler. He's falling and he's dazzling, but he's not getting any crowds so far and that's unfortunate. I did just want to see these guys get to the end of it so I can get a good idea. Oh man, and the jumps just get more and more Ridiculously difficult. Oh man, that is insane. Okay, very cool. So we will exit from this one and I'll try to find another round. Hopefully this one we can actually get farther. Whoa, now this one we had seen, I think. This entered in season two, which is right when I around sort of, or stopped playing. But yeah, 
This is, was it night something? I don't know, but it is definitely gonna to be tough to survive everything. Oh, you could do a risky jump to get that, the hammer jump. I don't think I'm gonna risk it too much. That ax was very, very close to hitting me, but it didn't. Okay, can we make this jump? Oh no, wait, come on, you pull up. Awesome. And then we need to sort of stay to one side, just grab onto the ledge and pull up with the super slide. That's cool. Oh boy, I don't like it. Ah, come on. No. All right, all right, ready? Gotta make the maximum amount of time here happen. Same deal with this. I think staying to the one side is the best. Somebody already completed the obstacle course. That's crazy. I think we'll go to this one and we'll get there in time. It's gonna be close. Oh, dive. Oh, that was close. So yeah, we did qualify at ninth place out of 42. So I think that is going to be top 20. I feel like it hasn't been showing me my me medal recently. I'm not really sure. People are falling off all over the place. Huh. Yeah, it's definitely a bit of a tight competition here, but they're, they're starting to close in a little bit more. 12, 10 more left, eight more left. It just keeps going down and down. The music here is really cooled out. And there we go. We qualified and so did 41 other people. So that's a pretty good start, but we've had a couple of good starts now and then they sort of just fall, fall apart later on. So can we make it past the second round? That's the big question for right now. I'm not really sure, but I'm willing to find out. Okay, so next up. See, I wonder what it's showing here, if that's actually the selection it chooses from. I don't think so. I think sometimes we can get something that just doesn't show up here at all. But hey, if we get that one slime mountain thing again, I really hope we can do better. I feel like I learned from last time just a little bit. It's gonna be the whirly gig, which we've definitely seen in the past, but haven't seen it in a while. So definitely worth trying. Just gotta time our movements right, navigate the obstacles and race to the finish line. Try to avoid those fan, uh, whatever they're called, either the, the fan pieces. Are they called arms of the fan or something? I forget. Regardless, you just gotta avoid the fan and not get knocked off into space. Okay, yeah, let's go. So only 28 of us can make it. And gotta go with the flow, timer jumps well. Oh, yeah, this is where people get knocked on. But you could also, I remember, uh oh, Troublemaker. I don't know why I got that, but I guess I'm a Troublemaker now. Got it. You could also get hit by sort of the tail end of it to give you a speed boost if you knew what you were doing. Don't wanna risk that right now because I, I'm not super familiar with these. But yeah, you could even do that here a little bit. Yeah, just give me a little bit of a, a push forward. So sometimes the obstacles aren't all bad. So this is the risk. You take the center path, which is much faster. <laughs> but that might happen. Okay, but I landed. So that's at least a decent recovery. So I don't think we're getting a first place here by any means, but. Oh no, why'd I jump? Why'd I jump? I saw everybody else jumping and my first instinct was to jump. Ah, oh, I could have gone it there too if this people are just knocking me over now. It's fine, it's fine. But sixth or seventh place finish. We made it past the second round. It's a miracle. All right, everybody else is pouring in. And we're about yeah, halfway through. And now it's stacking and put a lot. Only a couple more spots left. Who's gonna get there, huh? Oh man, 27 and 28. All right, round over. There was a couple of people just diving, just barely weren't able to make it. But hey, we were in that top 28, so we're fine to continue forward. Okay. So let's see what's going on next. Round three, this is the first time, believe it or not, we're making it to round three in today's episode with Snowball Survival. Try not to break the ice and don't fall out of the bowl. I don't think I've seen this one but we get a gold just for qualifying. So if we could qualify, that would be great. Oh man. See, it's a big snowball. With a snowball with snowballs rolling around, 
trying to just squish us, I guess. See, I think the icy parts are more fragile and will break. I'm not entirely sure how this works, but I guess we'll just stand around for now. We just have to survive the time frame. Okay, so there's only 53 seconds remaining. It doesn't seem like very much time, but I have a feeling it's gonna go by fast. Oh no, oh no. I mean, it seems to fall up and out pretty quickly. But will this stuff break too? The green ones? Oh man, ah, ow! <laughs> Did it just honk at me? What was that? Oh, I guess we could do. Oh, that's like people doing a little. That's so funny. Oh, or is that mine? Yeah, okay, I see. I can do that one. I love it, I love it. I'll have to definitely equip more of those. <laughs> this one's so weird. So far, it's actually not that difficult. Five seconds remaining. I don't know if anyone has gotten knocked out. A couple people have. It doesn't seem that difficult to knock it knocked out, but there we go. We qualified. So that's a pretty easy gold medal. That might be the easiest mini game we've ever seen in this. But <laughs> there we go. We got it. So we're, there were 20 before. Only six got knocked out. So that really didn't thin out the crowd all too much. That was definitely a weird one. But hey, what's next? Uh, air time, this is another new one. Staying in the score zone to score points. Use the pipes to get back to the score zone if you fall. So this one's all about gaining points. Interesting. Oh, I see. So the yellow sort of zone is where we'll get points. So if we're bouncing around, staying up in the air, if we don't get knocked off, we'll be fine. Easier said than done, of course, but I wonder how we could do that. I'm thinking over here. Oh no, but if I get unlucky, uh, I think it would have been better just to wait for the crowd to move through, because they end up knocking over and you can't really time it. Oh, I see, this is gonna move around. Okay, okay, so I'll be fine. I think we can make this work, maybe. Okay, that is uh, too much of a slant. Never mind. What about the pink one? Where's the pink one bring me? Same spot. No, okay, well, depth perception didn't help me too much there. So far, this is, um, come on, that's so silly. I wanna go this way if we can. Where does this bring me, though? Oh, over, whoa, okay, I thought I was landing on the punching parts. No, I'm landing on this part. Okay, uh, that was sorta silly. Um, bar 50%. Maybe we can just make our way to this one? Yeah, this seems fine. Oh no, uh, okay, now I, I see. With each one of them, there's a little catch, right? Fall throttle, whoa! Okay, maybe that's an easy way to earn some percentage, right? It's maybe not the most productive, though. Oh, if I could get up there, that'd be cool. But 11 out of 14 people have qualified. I don't have time to mess around. I need to go now and get the remaining of this percentage. Come on, this is it. If I could just stay up here, 88, 89, 90. Come on, no! What is with that? There's like a wind or something. No! You're kidding! Ah! I just can't get anywhere in today's episode. That was the third round and that's as far as we could get. I'm gonna go for one more. We gotta be able to get more than that, right? Jeez, it's definitely frustrating. Oh, so we're starting with a new one in this round, track attack. Navigate the obstacles along this perilous racetrack and reach the finish. I'm gonna go all in with this one, put my full energy towards it and really try to just get qualified for each one so that we can get to the end. So this is super cool looking, I love it. Three, two, one, go. The, the crowd is cheering out there. Whoa, super bouncy too. Oh, is this a speed boost? It's not. So I guess we could have stayed up there for maybe a bit of a faster time, but honestly, that wasn't bad. That's gonna give me a little bit of a push too. We can slide down the slime, slide, slide, slime slide in. Something like that. Oh, this will give me a speed boost. Awesome. And I'll definitely try to make the most of that. I love the race ones like this. I always end up doing pretty well with them too, so. It makes it even more enjoyable for me. Come on, come on. So far, somebody finished a, wow. Wait a minute, really? Okay, they must have known this one quite well. Oh, I guess there must have been a more perilous center path. Somebody just missed their jump. Yeah, it looks like there was some kind of center path 
up above and down below that you can take, that probably makes you go much faster. So considering the fact that I didn't take that, we still got a second place finish. That's great. It hasn't been showing me my medal recently. It also hasn't been showing me the rewards for completing everything, so I don't know. I feel like the game's having a bit of a struggle today, but we'll get there. It's fine. Okay, next up we have Gate Crash. We've seen this one before. So I think we'll be fine. Actually, they added a lot to this one. The little obstacles there in the center, the pegs, those are definitely new, so we'll have to maneuver around those. Let's go for it. So I probably wanna to go to the center. We gotta look ahead, oh boy, and try to time it in that way. Sometimes that means just stopping and waiting for a moment, which seems counterintuitive to how this game works, but. Especially if you can, whoa, do something like that and influence people to follow you and then just barely make it. That's always pretty good. So far, I am in the lead. Probably shouldn't spend too much time, oh no looking behind me, because look at this, a super clean first place finish. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so the first round went great, second round we get a first place. I'm really liking how this is going so far. So hopefully that continues. As you can see, everybody else getting knocked out. That's That should be a silver and a gold so far in terms of medals. And that means we're already down to 27 after the first two rounds. I think that's pretty quick. but I guess we'll give it a try and find out. Okay, so next up. Freezy Peak. Scale the Frozen Mountain to reach the finish line at the peak. Yeah, we have seen this one before. Yeah, definitely. I don't remember how we fared in it, but we, we got enough so that like we qualified. It looks a little different though, so maybe it's a little different each time. At the same time, maybe not, I, I can't tell. We only did it once, so it's not really super active in my memory. Okay, but let's give it a try. Three, two, one, and go. So it's super icy here, you gotta watch out for the, the punching gloves. The music is, of course, very festive. Oh, and the snowball's coming in. Come on, come on. No, 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 got it. And I don't, I, are we supposed to land on those? It gave me a little bit of a speed boost. Why did I jump? Oh, we knocked it over. The power of everybody sort of worked out. Come on, no, no, come on. I couldn't, I was too busy falling, which, you know, amazing fall dazzler. At least he's dazzling while he falls, but would rather him just be the amazing stand up straight dazzler or something. Oh no, let's wait for that. So taking the inside line is a little faster and maybe a little less risky, but then you get punched over and that's not so good. But I should, no, not do that. It looks like somebody already completed everything. Good for them as long as I qualify, but honestly, I'm a little bit worried that I won't, especially with guys like that pushing me around. I'm just like everybody else, I don't like getting pushed around. Oh no, oh it's gonna be close, it's gonna be close, it's gonna be so close, no! What is with my luck today? You're kidding me! We get eliminated every single time! <laughs> That's so painful. All right, well, as you can see, we're down to 17 and I'm not one of them. I was the 18th one. Darn! But hey, we actually get the show summary this time. That's nice. So it looks like we did get a bunch of stuff. This is, I think, from earlier, trying to calculating everything. Uh, it's nice to get it all. And we got quite a lot. But still, we got a silver and a gold. It's something. And now we're up to level 18 in our battle pass. So that's pretty cool. We might want to take a quick peek at that for right now. Hmm. Uh, so yeah, let's see. Our, though this is the stadium star thing. So this is something that we'll check out next episode, I believe. Uh, I already have that, so. Oh yeah, we got some extra stuff here, some extra kudos. So yeah, with this one, the stadium starts, hit the ground running by beating challenges in a variety of shows to win a unique prize. So if we keep working on that and get to a thousand, we only have a day left to do it, but we can get the free for all party pack. So that's something I think I wanna work on a little bit more in the next episode. Hopefully we can get there. I'm not quite sure though, because we would need 
a lot more. We need 700 more trophies, so I'll definitely try to chip away at that in the upcoming episodes, but I definitely want this backpack if possible. It looks really cool. So next episode, I think we want to take a look at the uh, Stadium Stars show that goes with the Stadium Stars event. So definitely seems good in my opinion. But yeah, definitely let me know your thoughts on this costume, the Amazing Fall Dazzler. Uh, we have a ton of stuff to check out in the upcoming episodes. I'm hoping I'll try to get to it all, but it seems like some of the outfits come back, which is always nice. I'm trying to focus on the video game ones because I'm sure they're a little bit more limited time. So we have like Ai from Super Monkey Ball, Gato Roboto, which I think is from the game Gato Roboto, that I definitely want to check out soon. Especially since they are going away in 18 hours, apparently. So there's a lot of stuff like that, but let's take a look at our season progress as well. Um, so we are now at the level 18, so we got Oh wow, okay, that's awesome. So we actually got another seasonal outfit. We got the Dragon Dance head with the body, the tail, and the head. So that's pretty good. I'll definitely be showcasing that sort of multi-piece costume in its own episode, so that'll be cool. So there's plenty more episodes coming with different costumes and such, but definitely be sure to claim this one before it's too late because it is part of the Amazon Prime gaming thing. So definitely worth your while to get a free costume if you have Amazon Prime. But with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.